So talk us through what you meant by the, the, the content uh, of that tweet. What do you think has been wrong in the actions of the last week or two, and what do regulators need to do to stop it? So, look, the first part of this is we all see what's happening with GameStop. There are rich people on both sides of this, people who are uh, trying, it appears, to manipulate this market. And that's what we don't know the details of. For a long time now, the SEC has pulled back and not made sure that we have an honest market. The whole point of having a stock market is so that people across this country, around the world, can invest in businesses, help create that capital accumulation so businesses have the money they need to grow and to prosper. Instead, what has happened is it's turned into a casino so that market manipulators come in and they drive markets up or down and make a profit on it. It's, it's called the gamification of the market. And all of a sudden, the billionaires and some hedge funds are yelling because they're not the ones, the only ones, who make money when the manipulation works. But remember the other half of this. There are going to be a lot of people who are going to lose money around this, a lot of money that they can't afford to lose. This is why we need an SEC that has clear rules about market manipulation and then has the backbone to go in and enforce those rules. So, Senator Warren, is your bigger issue that uh, this, these types of trades were going on over the last couple of weeks and pushing GameStop up or that people were restricted from doing so more today when they were banned from trading? Because uh, the two are almost opposite. And I just wonder which, which is the bigger issue you're, you're focused on. Look, the bigger issue for me is the SEC's inability and unwillingness to deal with market manipulation. It's not just what's happened in the last couple of weeks. Let me take an example. The example around stock buybacks. We all understood what stock buybacks are about. They're about companies buying back their own stock so they can inflate their, the price of that stock. That's just the economics of what happens. And it was market manipulation up through the 1980s when the Reagan era SEC said, well, really not so much. And so what happens now is companies routinely manipulate their own stock. We're watching the same kinds of things happen everywhere. Um, outfits like Robinhood that say, we're going to give you prizes to come join with us and then say, but you have to sign something that says there'll be an arbitration clause. So if it turns out that we really did cheat you, it'll never be made public. There'll be very little that you can do about it. That doesn't create a healthy market. What we need is a healthy stock market. And to have a healthy stock market, you got to have a cop on the beat. That should be the SEC. They need to step up and do their job. Just for... for purposes around GameStop and everyone trying to figure out what's going on here, Senator Warren, who, who do you think is manipulating this stock? Well, that's the problem. How do you know who's manipulating the stock at this point? I mean, people are liking to tell a David versus Goliath story, but are you entirely sure that's right? Are you entirely sure that there aren't wealthy people on both sides, that hedge funds haven't moved in on the side of the people who've bid up the price of uh, game stock. And that's what happens when you don't have an honest market. When you don't have an honest market, a lot of folks get cheated and a lot more folks just say, I'm not going into a market like that. I'm not going to participate. I'm not going to put my money out there. This is happening at a time when millions of people are out of work, when millions of people are struggling and they're looking for another way to try to make money and going into a market that is not honest, that is not transparent, signing away their rights with arbitration agreements and then getting cut off from being able to trade, that is not a way for them to be able to build any security at all. And it, it's bad for Wall Street but ultimately, it's bad for our country. As it relates to manipulation here on this stock, I just want to be really clear, Senator Warren, as, as to what you mean, because there is a new element here, and that is social media, and that a lot of this has come from rallying cries on chat boards of Reddit. So, so is that something that 
you're defining as manipulation, if, if hedge funds are behind that or if big money is behind that and potentially colluding to put out, to put out the word, knowing what's going to well, happen next? Well, of course, that's the whole point, is that we don't know. We don't know who's putting this information out. And here's the key. Market manipulation should be illegal. Uh, manipulating the market should be wrong, right? But the SEC has never even completed its rules defining what market manipulation is. So that means, in effect, what you've got is a casino. And you don't even know if, uh, if anything in that casino is honest. You can't tell who the players are. And there are very few restrictions on what the players can do. We need an SEC that's going to step up, that's going to put some clear rules in place, and then that will be willing to enforce those rules. That's when we can see a lot more traders. I want to see more traders in the market. I want to see day traders in the market. I want to see them have an opportunity to be able to evaluate companies and say, this is one I like, this is one I don't like. But I don't want to see them be able to get in the market so they can get fleeced by insiders who are pulling the strings uh, in the back corners, and they end up getting cheated. There's going to be an investigation here. We know there are going to be people who are going to turn out to be hurt from this, all because the SEC has not stepped up, has not put clear rules in place, and has not had the courage to enforce those rules. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.